just want to share a little bit of footage with you uh, for this intake uh, air hose here that on mine it broke off flush with this here and um, <clears throat> so what I've done is I've gotten under the car or under the van and I've loosened it off and uh, you can see down there probably not but anyway I've loosened it, not, loosened it off down there and I've able to slide, slide the hose forward enough to get enough hose back over my um, throttle bottle throttle body body and um, clamp it back down so that should fix my problem so I've I don't think it's going to fix my um, running a rich problem but I definitely had an air leak with that being completely cracked completely around how the van was running with that being completely cracked is just amazing I didn't even notice uh, it was cracked until I went to um, use some of this stuff here to uh, give a clean on the throttle body just to um, see if uh, that's going to help with the running rich problem but this being cracked uh, letting too much air in I would have assumed I would have had a running lean problem not a running rich problem so yeah that's all I've done there is just gotten rid of that bad bit of rubber slid the hose forward from the bottom which you might be able to see down there and uh, you can see yeah, you can see it I've cable tied it because I couldn't get the stupid clip to fit back on uh, so that's um, I've used the tool to tighten that with as well uh, so everything's back on and how it should be and uh, so the next part is the diagnostics tool to see what it has to say about all this uh, I will tighten up my um, throttle cable as well that's a bit loose there I could get a bit more acceleration from that uh, okay, so I'm going to start the van right now, and uh, Jack underneath there will move out of the way in a minute, as soon as he hears the van crack cranking. Wants to be a part of the act of everything. Ready. Okay, uh, got your blinkers and everything on now, trying to reach over here. to wait for the engine to warm up because it's the O2 reading that I'm looking at it used to be uh, in the plus fours uh, but lately I've been noticing it's in the plus sevens uh, most of the time reading rich uh, and it's kind of like inverted as well it's like when I when I give acceleration it'll read lean but when I back off it reads rich which is uh, really weird So uh, I might just stop this for now and uh, continue recording once the bands come to temperature. Okay, so me diagnostic is telling me that I'm not going anywhere near plus seven like it was before. That definitely read correctly too. Backing off the acceleration went to lean, giving acceleration goes rich. Be interesting to see if that was my problem. Running rich because of a vacuum leak. Uh, I drowned. See that? I drowned it with a uh, throttle body throttle body cleaner. And uh, just around looking for vacuum leaks, there was nothing. Then I drowned it again with water just to um, also check the vacuum leaks and wash off all the throttle body cleaner. And uh, there was no change to idle or anything when I did that. So it looks like I've found the only 
vacuum leak there was. Idling a bit high now to what it used to. It used to set about 800. And it's now sitting at about 1000. Oh, there you go, better reading. 925, but that changes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a clean of this stuff here and uh, see if um, that makes it any better for me as well. So I won't change any idle settings or anything like that. I'm going to leave it all as it is. I'll put that throttle body cleaner through it and um, we'll see where we go from there. Alright, so I'm back now and everything seems to be okay. Idle still sits a bit high, so I'm going to have to adjust the idle. And uh, everything else seems to be okay. I gave it a bit of a um, couple of hits of um, just floor on it, uh, just to see if I could get any um, black smoke behind me. And that, that seems to have been gone, but I'll keep checking that over the next few days to um, see if it's gone or if it's just not happening. Uh, hopefully that leak was my uh, reason why I was running rich. Uh, reason, only reason I can think of why that would be the case would be that uh, there's excessive air coming in, unknown air, and the ECU is compensating them by feeding more petrol, and um, to the point where my O2 sensors were saying that I'm running rich all the time, and. Uh, yeah, it must have just been the yeah, the ECU was compensating for the extra air. That's the only reasoning I've got for it anyway. Oh, I thought it worked the other way around. When you've got unknown air, it just made the car run lean all the time. Anyway, uh, hopefully that was the problem. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a clean of that carby cleaner. And uh, I'll just make it all part of this same footage. So the next part's going to be me cleaning the car off carby cleaner. And I'll, I'll show you some daylight what I did there. I just didn't want to have a whole bunch of smoke clouding the place and the neighbours complaining. Okay, I'm doing this at night because it's going to be, blow a lot of smoke. So I guess you'll see whatever you can. I don't know what you all saw, but I didn't see any smoke. I'll uh, have a look at the footage myself and see what there was. But um, that's that carby cleaner kit or spray that I just put through the engine. And I'll, I'll show you some daylight what I did there. I just didn't want to have a whole bunch of smoke clouding the place and the neighbours complaining. Alright, so last night after using this... Uh, liquid molly um, the van now idles at 1200 rpm where before it was idling at 900 rpm so it's done something and uh, it's got a tiny little bit left in there so I might as well use it 
got nothing better to use it on. Now what I've done is um, I've just put a hole through my intake hose there and um, use a screw as a grommet if you wish and feed that through. It has to get up in there. So I figured that tiny glass little bit I might as well use that and uh, finish it off. Now I'm going to have to put the camera down while I do this bit because I need to hold the throttle open um, to get that hose passed but I'm just going to going by feel basically just want to use the last bit of spray in this area here and just finish it off and then um, I can be done with that can and chuck it in the bin and move to the next part which I'm going to start working on the idle and the timing okay so that's done so basically all I did was fill it through until I felt on the throttle valve there that it was touching then open it up and feed it through and work in that area there with that last tiny bit so that the can's finished now what I do notice is that this hose and you can see that there starting to crack again right where I put the screw I'm going to use a bit of um, gasket my gasket maker and um, I don't like reading out words that people can read for themselves so um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just going to use a bit of that with the screw, put the screw back in and um, I'm going to have to order a new hose but this will get me by for the next couple of weeks maybe even longer but I'll order the hose so I have peace of mind that the new, there's a new hose there uh, and on to the idle next, so I'll get this screw in and see if I can just put that there. Maybe not. on the screw itself I'm not going to just poke the screw free I'm going to screw it in still now that's not really doing a lot but when it hardens it's going to make sure that I've got no air like there for now so I can still start the band right now. It's not going to draw that through. Um, okay, so that being done, uh, just going to wait a couple of minutes and I'll start the van. I'll run that last little bit through so it's not sitting there for too long. It says on the on the directions here. Um, just a quick rundown of um, to only let it. It's on the right here. So it says to run the van at 2500 RPM and uh, to um, let the stuff rest for two to three minutes. So it must be pretty strong stuff if they say only leave it for two to three minutes. Uh, so, I don't know, what else is there to say about this? Um, when the van was, when you heard the van running last night, um, and it run, was running crap, that's when I was spraying this stuff, uh, not beforehand, um, so that's something to think of there, I think, if you're watching that clip and thinking the van's running really rough, it's it was because I was using this, and I was spraying at, like, one second intervals, it was just going, tsh, 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 like that, and, uh, Love the sound effects, huh? Um, okay, so I'll just run that stuff through and then I'm going to work on the idle and the timing.
Okay, so at the moment I've screwed that screw all the way in and the frame will idle right down from 1200 to 800. And I'll show you, well, I'll turn it out so you can hear the idle of the band change. in, the idle is still not low enough. I need to bring that down to say 700 RPM or lower. So I need to get the idle below what I need and uh, then use that screw to bring it to exactly where I need. And yeah, so we're at 800 RPM right now. 750 is where it should be. Uh, it will fluctuate. Uh, that's just you know, you have a bit of extra fuel here or there, or a bit of extra air here or there. It might be O2 reading, rich or lean, and the van just, you know, the ECU is controlling the van. Okay, I've bypassed the fans for now, so they're always on. I'm just going to let the van come down to temperature. You can see the idle there is coming down, it's dropped down from 97 to 95, and already the idle is dropped with it. Uh, in the process, I'll, um, or in the meantime, I'll tighten all these cables back up, and uh, I'll get under the van in a second, and I'll check the timing out. All right, so temperature's come down to normal temperature now. Idle sitting between 750 to 800. Oh, it goes a little bit over. That's all right. I'll go underneath now and um, when I connect the T1 to T E in a minute, it's going to drop down like that. So that's perfect. Okay. So, yeah, I'll get under that. I'll turn the van off now, connect up the um, timing light, and uh, go from there. Alright, so continuing on, next day, fans idling really high, uh, can't get it below 1300 RPM, uh, and that's by disconnecting the cold start sensor and backing off all the cables and so forth, and uh, turning the idle screw all the way down, uh, adjusting the throttle sensor, um, and I just couldn't get the idle to come down in uh trying to work out did I do something with the timing and uh, turns out from um, looking around and trying a few things uh, it looks like my um, uh, valve control sensor um, airflow control sensor is uh, no that's the incorrect name as well idle airflow control sensor um, Looks like it's the problem after doing doing all the clean. I did notice the van idled a little bit higher after doing the clean. Adjusting the idle screw, bring the idle back down. But the following day, I could not get the idle down any lower. And uh, what I did to find this out is, and I hope this is it, because I just might, I could also just be choking it. So. There we go there. What I've done is I've put a clamp on that hose that goes directly into the bottom of the throttle body and uh, that's where the airflow, idle airflow control is and I hope you can see that because I'm holding the camera away from me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the cleaner, well, I'm going to put some degrees, I don't have any throttle body cleaner left used it all. So I'm going to get some degrees and I'm going to just flush this hose here out all the way to the top. If you can see that there, all the way to the top. And from the top as well, I'm going to fill her up from the top. Just get that the airflow control sensor um, completely degreased inside. <coughs> this may or may not work. But also the 
idle screw I'm going to take out and degrease and probably spray some more in there as well uh, try to anyway to when we get to the top of the airflow on the other side it's a bit difficult on this angle though so we'll see how I go with that and what I will be using is from the throttle body planer is um this cap here and this is just multi-purpose spray but I'm going to put it on the, the, the degreaser tin in a second so I can actually use this hose to get right up inside the throttle body cleaner uh, throttle body <sighs> the airflow valve control and um, see if I can clean her out ok so to to finish up here, turns out it was my um, airflow valve, uh, idle control valve. Um, my idle is now returned. So, um, yeah, I gave it a good clean out. I'm going to put this paint back on. I gave it a good clean out here, took the uh, idle control screw out. Put a, a generous amount of um, degreaser through it there. Uh, tried to get into it, the side of the lines and everything in there just to give it a good clean out. Uh, like I showed you from the bottom, I put the hose fitting from the degreaser up in that tube and it cleaned from the other side as well. Turned the ignition while I was doing it, like it was all wet from, from the top here. I was turning the ignition to, um, ex to accessories and off, accessories and off. Uh, or so should say ignition and off, ignition and off, but not starting the car, just letting the area here get power to hopefully work the, I don't know if I was actually doing it, but it was hopefully to work the, um, the idle valve while I was degreasing, and seems to have done the trick, everything's back to normal. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, this turned out to be a big job over a little fix.